Welcome everyone, this is Araceli. In this channel, which is Build Well with Araceli, we have lots of tips for you. As real estate investor here with Colette today, she's also a real estate investor. Can you introduce yourself and tell us what we're talking about? Yes, hi everybody. We're very serious today. Not really. <laughs> I don't think you can be serious. <laughs> Serious. It's serious business. Okay. Yeah. Hi, everybody. My name is Colette Raba. I'm a residential real estate broker, <clears throat> real estate broker in the GTA. That was not meant to be. <laughs> Clearing my throat. Uh, Aerosol and La Area. Oh, my God. Should we start again? Okay. If you want to start again, we'll just cut, 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 cut. Yeah. Aerosol okay. I'll, I'll <laughs> you can't say my name there. <laughs> Araceli and I love talking about real estate because we love real estate. So this is why we do this show. Uh, we want to help you. We want to give uh, um, just insight, not even advice, just how we see things, how we our experiences have led us here. Uh, we both um, are investors. I'm a real estate agent. She is not. But hey, man, she could be <laughs> with all her knowledge. I don't want to. <laughs> I know it's a weird, it's a tough business. Yeah. It's a weird. Anyway, so welcome to the show. We are talking about something that we find uh, we get questions not too often, but you know what? People are already in their homes. Yeah, they come to Araceli with uh, financial advice. They they want to ask her questions. Uh, we talk about it all the time because when we see opportunity too, this is something that we want to share with our clients and we want to share. Uh, with each other too sometimes that we're like hey what do you think of this yeah and it's exciting and it's interesting so what are we talking about today so the subject is how are you going to be able to build equity in your home as quickly as possible right as you know prices are rising and now there is not that much room some people co sometimes come in with very little down payment so the equity oh by the way the equity is basically the difference between the the price that is worth and what you owe in the property. So if the property's uh, worth 500,000 and your mortgage is 300,000, your equity is the difference, which is 200,000. And you want to build that portion as quickly as possible. So there's a few ways. So we're going to talk about four ways to build that equity fast. Yes. And one way that we have no control over is the market itself. Yeah, so of course. We're not talking about that. Even if you just buy real estate and you do nothing and you sit on it and you, you know, live there and twiddle your thumbs and just wait, the market may rise quicker than, you know, before it may, it might not. Yeah. We're going to stay away from that. <laughs> we're gonna stop stay away we're gonna stay away from that but actually talk about things that you have control over that you can do yourselves correct so, Araceli and I picked number one because it happens to be our favorite which is buying a fixer upper correct no brainer right yeah well yes it is and it's not right so it depends on your circumstances as well right but if you buy a fixer upper most likely you're gonna get much better value and the reason is because sometimes when you buy fixer upper the discount is larger than the amount that it actually will take you to fix whatever it is whether it's a new roof maybe there is a, you need to have an updated kitchen or updated bathroom there is something that needs to be fixed maybe windows things that the previous owner couldn't do or didn't want to do right, for right. And the, the price should reflect that so you, you want something that is in your area, but you really can't afford it, buy a fixer-upper if there is one. Yeah. Because that's the most important thing is the location that you're in. And obviously, if you have the money to buy. Yeah, absolutely. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of a fixer. If you get an inspector, if you have a half-decent agent that can see the structural uh, yeah. uh, parts of the house, and they say, yes, it's the bones are good. I know that's a kind of a, a cliche, right? But if the bones are good then I have no problem buying a fixer upper. And obviously there's always going to be secrets behind the walls. You don't know. Hopefully they're not that bad. Yeah. But you know what? If you can afford it and it's exciting. Exactly. So you're going to have right, right away, as soon as you buy it, you're going to have that equity already in the property, right? And of course you have to do something. So the second part is that you need to upgrade it. So don't buy a fixer upper and don't do anything. 
because right. it's going to deteriorate even more. So just be prepared that if you need to do a new kitchen, a new bathroom, maybe new windows, a new roof, that you schedule all of those things over time, right? Yeah, but you live there. So exactly. you're doing, while you're not paying rent somewhere else, you're not paying a, and living somewhere else and having a mortgage. So this is kind of like, again, a no brainer that you can live through reno. Again, you have to think of your circumstances. If you have little kids, I wouldn't recommend living in a renovated, you know, a house that's under renovation, yeah. like a huge renovation, but you can also do it in, like Araceli said, do it in sections, do it in you know, have, have some kind of a timeline to say, okay, we're going to do the kitchen now. It's going to be a little uncomfortable, but we can manage and do it in the summer. Maybe like there's ways to do yeah. it. So you have the barbecue, you don't have the yeah. kitchen. It's not terrible to not have an oven. Who's baking in the summer anyway. Right. Exactly. So things like that. So upgrade while you're living there. Um, an easy thing that I've actually done as well is add a secondary suite to my house. So yeah. that's number three. So, and I'm renting it out. So it's not just, uh, you know, raising the equity that I'm getting money in, but I've also improved my house. So when I go to sell it, that's a very valuable thing that I've added where it's a separate entrance. There's a second kitchen. There's, it's a, it's a completely separate unit. Yep. But you could also just rent a room out to pay off your mortgage faster. Correct. So you, I, I actually touch in number three, which is basically changing the way that the house is used. And now that we live at least here in the GTA and in other areas as well, if you have more room that to add a secondary suite, when you are going to sell it, now that property is going to increase in value because now you have gone through the trouble of getting all this set up finish the basement if it's not finished. So you are adding more living space, right? Which this adds hand in hand. If you're able to get a renter, the four way to, for you to build more equity is that you can change those mortgage payments. Normally they're set up on a monthly basis, but if you can set them up either bi-weekly or weekly, what it's gonna do for you is, even if you don't add any more money, it will reduce the length of your mortgage by about five years in total, right? Right, right. And the other thing is if you have a renter that they're paying and you don't need that cash, add it to your mortgage and it will go directly into the principal, which is going to shorten that mortgage again, even farther. Right, yeah, you have to talk to your lender about when you can do all that. Sometimes they only give you an anniversary. Exactly. But what Kelly was saying before was changing the uh, the time. So not paying it monthly, reducing the time in between. So even if you pay the same amount every two weeks, it will actually cost you less in the end. So yes. I do that. I don't know if you do that. Yeah, I do I, that too, right? I'm comfortably doing it because really if I see – the payment coming out twice a month as opposed to once a month who cares <laughs> it's insane exactly. That's all and the thing is when you do it by weekly actually you're gonna add two more payments normally you will have two payments in a month right. but there's yeah. two months in the year that you're gonna have three payments and that's why you're gonna accelerate it so if yeah. it doesn't make a lot of difference and it kind of matches up a lot of people do it match up what do their paycheck right so if you're getting paid every two weeks match up your mortgage to the same frequency so you kind of are used to the same money coming in and money out money in and money out so you don't see the difference and as i said before if you do have a renter or a secondary suite that you're renting and take a portion of that and add it to those uh, bi-weekly payments you will see a huge difference very very quickly Right. Yeah. So that's, they're, they're easy things. It's, we're not telling you to, to shoot for the moon. So they're all, I think that list is all doable for most people. Absolutely. Very doable. So just to summarize this, so the four ways that you can build equity, what you are living in the place, obviously you're going to buy a fixer upper. So that means you're going to get equity pretty much right away because the discount that they're going to give you. Then you're going to get, uh, what was the second one? Oh, upgrade. 
obviously make sure that you fix Do all the upgrades. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Don't it, but don't just don't, don't buy it and, and leave it like that. Right. Upgrade if you know the windows and everything need to be done. Just Listen, do it. And, and number two doesn't even mean that you have a fixer upper. Let's just say you have a beautiful house that's just a little bit aged. You know, do those few upgrades. Change your vanity in your bathroom. Exactly. You know, paint the walls. There could be change the light fixtures. Oh my god! Do you know how many builder grade light fixtures I see? Like I'm just, I just want them banned. I hate them so much. <laughs> so they're cheap too. You can do all these things very uh, uh, inexpensively too over time. So don't go crazy and have you know. Oh, I don't have twenty thousand dollars. You don't yeah. need. It. Do one room at a time. Exactly. Do up, upgrade it to your you know comfort level and and just every house needs it. Yeah. Okay. And if you can, number three is to add secondary suites that you can actually add um, either a, a renter. You may want to add a bathroom in a large room that you can rent just by itself with a bathroom. Absolutely. Yeah, or finish your basement and make it a separate entrance for it uh, so you can have a renter. And the four one, which is, you know what it is, money touches everything. So if you can change the payments on your mortgage to be bi-weekly instead of monthly, that will accelerate that uh, payment on your mortgage. And on top of it, as a bonus, if you have a renter, you can always add a little bit of that money coming in to your monthly, to your bi-weekly payment. And you can see how the mortgage will shrink pretty quickly. Absolutely. So that's it for yeah. today. Yeah. I'm motivated. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah, let's do that. And I hope that you can build as much equity as you can in your property. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Bye, everybody. Thank you for being here on the show. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when there are more shows available. And if you would like to have more information on how to start investing in real estate, please visit my website at www.arisalihernandez.com. Thank you.